From Behind Home Plate, your Orioles talk. Section 336, the next generation of Baltimore sports talk. Hey, good morning. It is uh, Monday morning, and we got our first two spring training games this weekend. So, like always, 336 Daily and Section 336 is always brought to you by my site, Birdland Sports. I know you're probably tired of hearing about it, but if you haven't gone over there and checked it out, make sure that you do and spread the word, really pushing to grow Birdland Sports this baseball season. So, Orioles had two spring training games. And what do we watch for? What do we look for in these spring training games? I mean, Kerstead got two home runs, almost a third home run in the first game. Does that mean he's making the team? No, he's got no chance to make the team. So what do we look for with that? Well, here's the big takeaway. Kerstead is healthy. Kerstead can still play baseball. Uh, after all those heart issues, he's back and seems to like he can have a regular season and regular life. And, I mean, we went from baseball being secondary in his life to now he's back, he's playing, and he still can make an impact on the Baltimore Orioles. It's not going to be right out of camp, but hey, you hit three home, you hit two home runs every game. You're going to come up real fast. So it's it's something where it's exciting to see this because it's it's part of the it's part of the future. Like the spring training, it's we can't take too much away. We all know the Jake Fox Award. And I feel bad for Jake Fox that he got that award for having an amazing spring and then nothing in the when the season started. But the Orioles are playing baseball. They're playing games. There's excitement. Um, Jackson Holiday even got to play this weekend. It, it's, there's excitement to see these guys in the future. But none of it for this week can we take away and uh, – really project anything that we're seeing this week into the 2023 Orioles season. They're trying to get people, they're getting pitchers loose. They're getting pitchers. They're going to focus on guys that have to go to the World Baseball Classic, get them all warmed up. And there's not much to take away at this point, except just excitement. Excitement that baseball's back. Excitement that we're seeing some of these guys making their debuts in black and orange. I mean... Jackson Holiday, we're seeing Kerstead, first time wearing an Orioles uniform. Uh, James McCann played uh, for the Orioles on Sunday. We're seeing guys dress up as Orioles, and that's exciting. Um, Varvara is kind of playing a little third base yesterday. That's interesting because how do you, again, if there's anything to take away from this spring training, it's how does our bench line up? Who can play multiple? In order to be a bench spot, you have to prove to me that you can play multiple positions. So maybe Varver can make that. Um, I don't know. There's That's why the other storylines that you're seeing coming out of camp is D.L. Hall cutting his hair, which at first it stings a little, but then you read it was for a good cause for wigs and wishes that makes wigs for cancer patients. So it's like, all right, good good job. I mean, I'm going to miss seeing that hair, and i got to do a little tweaks to the D.L. Hall t-shirt now, but it's all for a good cause. Um, but again, there's nothing to take away from this weekend except... Did you know that yearly Medicaid renewals will start again soon? This means millions of people who were enrolled in Medicaid during the pandemic may no longer be eligible for coverage. If this may impact you, the good news is you have options. Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield can help answer your questions so you can find an affordable health plan for you and your family. We want you to feel confident you're covered. Click to learn more. Policy exclusions and limitations apply. Anthem Blue Cross and Blue Shield is the trade name of Community Insurance Company. For the Orioles were playing baseball. And I don't know I don't know if we're supposed to take anything else away. Because that's all it is. The other news, here, you want some interesting news for Orioles that took KBLA this weekend. How about Manny Machado? Comes out last week, says, oh, I'm opting out after this answer. Is that playing his hand with the Padres? Apparently so, because he got his 11-year, $350 million extension. 
What does that mean when we see the Padres invest in Machado even more after we could not invest in Machado? It still goes back to that Peter Angelos, John Angelos discussion of the next Tampa. Are we going to be able to play our, pay our guys? All I wanted from this offseason was an Adley extension. You give, I mean, yeah, let's be honest. I wanted a lot. But I've t- said many times that the Adley extension would take care of things, and I'd be happy with that. We got a brand new Section 336 tonight. I'm sure we're going to discuss that and dig into that. Uh, it also came out that Dempsey's pub is gone, but I, it's unfortunate. I like the Dempsey sign. I like the idea. Of, I always enjoy Dempsey's, but it's so obvious that they're setting up for a sports book to come into the warehouse. Been calling this for years now as they legalize gambling in Maryland. It makes total sense that you can go out there and gamble. And I I don't know what they have to do to make this announcement. If it's not this season, then whatever they're putting in there is a temporary hold until next season. It makes too much sense for that to be a sports bar slash sports book. So see that coming. Other news was the sun came down from the um, where from the scoreboard, and I don't under I understand. The sun newspapers are changing. Ownership outside of Baltimore now owns the sun. They didn't want to invest that money into the sun. But hear me out, Orioles. That was part of your stadium. Like I know it was a sponsorship, but that was a symbol. That represented this stadium. And the H and the E flashing, whether it was a hit or an error, it was something that's been there forever. You could have held off. We all know that you're working this extension to get $600 million. We all know that one of the big things for that money to go to is a new scoreboard. You've been open about that. You've been open about replacing the scoreboard. If, if you could have waited one year and just left the sun sign up there without getting money from the sun as just an old sign and left it up there then next year you unveil hey we're building this new we're gonna this off season we're replacing the scoreboard then you replace it the sun sign goes down everybody understands it's not a big deal because you had to restructure the scoreboard they didn't want to pay for a new sign it goes away it's all good Instead, you're doing this, you're spending a bunch of money to take down a sign that's iconic because they don't want to pay for it a little bit. How much did it cost you to bring that crane in, the welders, to take it all apart and put it back together without the sun? Couldn't you have just waived that for the Oriole fan and just waited one year? That's my only argument with the sun sign is you could have waited. There was no need to do it, except for in spite of the sun for not paying any month. Hey, guys, tune in to Section 336. Uh, Brand new episode, probably out late tonight or tomorrow. Have a great day.